Howdy guys, welcome back to another adventure. We are out here doing something a little bit different today. If you look down here, we got our canoe. It's all loaded up with a bunch of different things. If you look right here, we have the always uh, magical, handsome um, Dakota hey. out here. And we are fishing a relatively new body of water. I've actually never fished this particular little bit of water. I've fished out here in this area before. Dakota's only fished it here a couple of times from the bank and he was here the other day and he was catching some little bluegill and then he caught a couple big red ear, he said. And he said, dude, you gotta come down here and come try to catch these big red ears. And I was like, bet, let's do it. So we've got a bucket full of worms. Look at this right here. I dug these up fresh this morning. You find these boys, oh man. Can y'all see those? gorgeous little spring run red worms and we're hoping that we can get into some pan fish now we also have an eclectic mix of tackle with us too we've got some little swim baits we got some crappie jigs dakota's got a spinner bait he's got a jig uh i wish i would have brought more bassy bass stuff because this looks really bassy but we're gonna see if we can catch fish and also we were kind of surprised because he pulled up and if you look we got this body of water and that body of water. Then we got this water flowing in. So that looks juicy. That looks juicy. So we're gonna probably dabble around right here first before we go out that way. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh no. What was that? Red ear. Dang it, he had a worm out there. But yeah, we're excited. Not least it's a beautiful day. It started off kind of cold. So we got a little bit of a late start. It's like, almost noon now, but it feels good. We're gonna try to catch the fish for y'all. If this spot doesn't work out, we're gonna go to another one nearby. So hopefully y'all are excited to tune into this adventure. We got new water in front of us and we're hopefully gonna be able to put some fish in the cooler, take home to eat. So if y'all are pumped, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more, and let's see what we can get into today. Let's go. There we go! Fish on, baby! Woo, nice little largemouth first cast. Come on with it. Come on with it. Right up here on this little levee. Nice little guy on the Six Sense Divine Swim Bait. It's a 2.7 inch. Good little multi-species bait, but we're starting off with a little bass. I think Dakota's wanting to keep a few bass today. Keep that little guy? That'd be a little guy to keep. It looks like a bigger bass tried to eat them right there. Something happened. You want this one? Yeah, I'll take them. Thank you. Don't in the cooler, man. Hey, yeah, we're we're trying to get some panfish, um, but bass are in the same family as bluegill and red ear, which is centrarchidae. And I'm not really targeting red ear right now with this little swim bait, but we pulled up here. We saw that the water was flowing. Need to honestly throw on the downstream side too, but I like this upstream side. I like the way it looks. And we got ourselves a little bassy bass. Oh, there you go, Dakota. There you go, on a spinner bait. That's a nice one. Look at that. Look at that. That thing's got a noggin on him. Dakota's got his first fish of the day. That's that's me pushing three pounds and look at that spinner bait. Spinner bait, Ooh. bluegill pattern. Look at that. That's a solid one, dude. These guys are just beat up though. He's got some scars. Yeah, there's probably some big old gar, big old turtles out here eating them. Oh yeah. That's sick, let me see him again. That's a little chonky chonk. Nice, dude. You gonna race on that side? Yeah, I'm gonna leave him. We're, 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 we're flipping and flopping We don't wanna him. spook our fish, you know. He wants not want to spook my fish. I don't know what it is about bass. They just smell better than others. <laughs> they do, they have a smell to them. There's one, there's one. There's me another nice bass. Oh, baby, on the swim bait. That's a nice one there. First one I got was kind of small. This here's a good one. Good one, six cents to buy in swim bait, 2.7. That does not suck. Hey, that's a good bass. That's a good one. Look at that, guys. My second bass of the day, probably like a two and a halfer, and just a little 2.76 cents to find some bait. This is like one of my favorite baits when exploring new water, whenever I'm fishing multi-species. 
it can catch everything. Like I don't go anywhere without this bait. You got to check them out. Leave a link below. I've got it on a one eighth ounce uh, crappie magnet double cross jig head too. What a pretty fish. Gorgeous. He's probably two and a half. I'd say two and a half all day. Let's send him back. Let's see if we can catch another one. Oh, what a cool fish. Nice. All right, we are getting in. Oh, I think it's a crawdad hole, snake hole, and fuma hole. Infuma. Infuma hole. Think there's any infumas out here? I don't know. Probably. Maybe. All right, we made it in without flipping. Woo! Woo! Oh, hey, 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 hey. That's you. It's a, it's a snapper. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Did he eat it? He just came into it. Don't flip the boat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's not what we were expecting. Don't get bit. Oh, it's a big one. <laughs> Leeches. Oh my goodness. It's stinky. <laughs> Well, that is not what we expected at all. Well, this is oh, this is perfect snapping turtle environment. Um, but I was like, dude, did you have it? I thought you had a flathead or something. Cause the bar went down, but this dude just swam right into your hook. He didn't even eat it. Oh, he's mad. He is mad. Let me zoom in on his face. Hello, handsome. What's up? Oh, he's grumpy. Hi, buddy. He's got any leeches on him? All over. Really? Oh, different snap. kinds of flat leeches. Look at that. And that's a good size snapper. Turn him sideways a little bit so we can see the full profile of that guy. Yeah, he's probably, how much is he weigh? 15 pounds probably? Yeah, he's heavy. 15, 20 pounds. Oh, he's trying to get you. He's strong, yeah. He's trying to get me. He's trying to get you. He might try to get me. But that is cool. Me and Dakota were in a contest. Whoever catched the first brim on a worm, so it hasn't been working out. We were actually probably about to maybe dip and try something else or go back to the spillway part of this thing. That is a gorgeous common snapper. You got all sorts of leeches on him. I bet this place is full of them. God. We've been seeing a lot of things like spook off, like like it looks like carp and buffalo, but it could just be a whole pot of snappers. That dude's powerful. He's grumpy. Well, that was cool, dude. That was that's awesome. We caught a couple of bass and we got a snapper. Now we need to catch some pan fish. Let's send him back before he bites one of us or flips this boat. Ooh. Oh, there you go, buddy. <laughs> he said, "I am not your buddy." He gone. He's gone. There you go. He's tearing it up. <laughs> I'm under, baby. Got him, got him, got him, got him. What is it? It's a yellow bass. Oh, man. We'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll take it. Throw him in the cooler. You want that? Yeah, throw him in the cooler. Coda wants a yellow bass. It ain't smaller now. So, what y'all just missed is that Dakota caught, Dakota's been catching stuff. He caught a bass, he caught a snapping turtle, he caught our target species. Oh my gosh, that thing looks so big in there. Okay, here we go. Here's my yellow bass. Look at this behemoth of a red ear. Look at that. That's a monster. And that's what we're trying to catch. That's what we had, tar had intended on catching. He uh, caught a couple of these the other day. And I think it's just bulbous. The yellow bass looks puny. I mean... This red ear looks like he could eat this bass for breakfast. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Uh, we definitely weren't unsuccessful at our first spot, but we didn't really hammer them like we thought we were going to, but that's okay. There's all sorts of water out here. Uh, we've got the main Big River Channel back behind us. There's some more little oxbows and little spillway things right here we're gonna go check out. We're actually on our way to a little spillway. I have no idea if it's gonna be looking any good or not today because it, it rained a lot. It could be blown out, but we got like plan C through Z that we can check out afterwards. But I've been really wanting to go fish this spot for a while. And uh, I think there is a lot of potential, but definitely didn't, definitely off to a good start. You know, we got a few bass. Dakota caught that monster red ear, which we weighed it. It's a pound. It was a one pound red ear. That's a big guy. So we'll definitely be coming back 
there, probably like in a few weeks when the radiator maybe begin to spawn and bed up. Because if that's what's living out there, that's crazy. But we're out here driving down the back roads. We got these fields on both sides of us. And uh, we're snaking our way through the terrain, <coughs> getting to spot number two. We'll see you guys when we get there. We're walking to our spot. It's a little high, but I think it's gonna work out. Check this out. That's cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. We should be able to catch something here. I got a fish. On the bottom? On the worm on the bottom. I think it's a drum. It's pretty good. I got a fish. What is it? Oh, it's a fatty blue. Look at that. Look at that. That's awesome. I, my other pole was coming good, but I was like, what the heck? And this pole was going off like crazy. I know. I got to go back to the car and get it. Got to figure out a way to land this guy. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! On a tiny piece of worm. Look at that. First fish down here at the new spot is a fat. And I'm talking about fat. I'm talking about bulbous, round, blue catfish. Uh, my other pole hung up. Dakota just had a fish on his catfish rod or a worm rod on the bottom. I tossed a little piece of red worm on the bottom just trying to get a bite. And we got this guy. And what's crazy is he's got all sorts of like, like, like bite marks on his side, like right here. Looks like he had catfish biting him and stuff. That thing is so fat. I don't know if he's full of shad or full of eggs or what, but it's a solid start to down here. We've been throwing jigs around for a little bit with no bites, but maybe a possible piece of red worm is the way to go. Um, we left our cooler back, back at the truck. Um, so, we might just let this guy go, but if we catch another one, we might keep him. Or do you want him? We're going to throw him back. Code doesn't want him. If we start wearing him out, we'll go get the cooler. I mean, look at how fat that thing is. I mean, what a specimen. Okay, we're going to give him the, give the treatment. We'll see you later. Whee! Yeah! Let's catch another one. No, I caught that on a tiny piece. Got you! I got one! <laughs> I don't know what it is. It feels pretty good. It might be another catfish. Oh, you got one? You got one? Oh, oh no, we almost doubled. Hey, it's been a little bit since I caught that first one. You got him? We got doubles. Oh, what is that? It came off. Oh, it's a yellow bass. Mine's, mine's bigger, Dakota. I got you this time, buddy. This is a pretty good fish. Oh! 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 That's a good fish. Oh my gosh! What is that? I don't know. Okay, set your yellow vest down. Oh, I got a channel cat. That was crazy. I'm just gonna hold him here for a second. I'm gonna watch this play out. This is big. Oh gosh. <laughs> this is big. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh my gosh, we gotta get the big catfish pole. Oh my gosh, on the crappie pole. We ain't got no net, we ain't got no nothing. I do have a channel catfish down there. Oh my gosh, don't even worry about that. We got a yellow bass dangling. All of a sudden, we had a feeding frenzy. We were about to leave. We're staying now. I'm sorry. You're good, you're, you're, you're struggling with some stuff. Oh no, oh no. Yeah, no kidding. Dude, that is crazy. What pound test braid do you, or line do you have on there right Eight now? Eight pound braid. Eight pound braid straight? Yep. Okay, that ain't bad. Okay. Here, I'm gonna get my pole out the way. Is, that, is it big? Is it a catfish? 
Can we roll this pole out of the way? Oh, little old red worm's doing work. <laughs> he hammered that thing. He really did. You're gonna have to step over these poles when you come down this way. You got him. Wait, we gotta see it. You think it's a blue? Yeah. Oh, he's trying to, oh, 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 oh. This is chaos. Mondu channel. Oh, a nice blue. I think we're save that yellow bass. Yeah, we're gonna cut that yellow bass up and turn it into some more catfish, I think. That's like this can. Something like that. You can land them down here on the bank yeah, pretty good. Okay, we're going this way. Okay, I got my channel catfish. Dakota's got that nice blue. Yeah, that's like a 10 pounder. Dude, that fish smoked you. <laughs> I'm just glad you don't have four pound test on like you usually do. Oh, oh no. That's the fun. Yeah, hey. We know they're here. We do. We might need to get some more gear. Oh. Uh oh. That's big bait. Uh-oh, come on. Got him! Got him! Got him! Is that a catfish? Channel. Oh, nice! Let's keep that one. I brought a bucket down here. Good, is that a channel? Yeah. Channel kitty! Look how fat he is! <laughs> Let me see. That's awesome. That was pretty quick. It really was. Cut up yellow bass. So I got my big orange rod. I got a piece of that cut yellow bass. Trade spots with me. He's trading spots with me. Um, he's gonna put that in the bucket. I wanna take some home. Okay, we got the orange rod set up. Dakota's been catching some right there. I've been catching mine like right there. So we got ourselves a spread now. Like skin. Oh, oh. Uh oh. Oh. Yeah, I got him. I thought I missed. Oh, pretty good one. Pretty good one. Feels like another catfish. Oh gosh, get him, Dakota! Double up! When we catch one, we catch two! Oh, you broke me off. No, he didn't. Yep, that was a big one, bro. He came off? Yep, he came off. That was a big one. Oh my gosh. Well, I got another nice little eater channel cat. Man, we got Shad busting behind us. I can probably boat flip this guy. Here we go. Oh, another nice little eater channel cat. Every time we get bit, dude, at least like two of us gets bit. But there's my, uh, I think it's my third catfish of the day. Another nice, just beautiful little eater channel catfish. I'm glad that I discovered that I had a five gallon bucket in the back seat of my truck. Cause we didn't want to carry the big cooler over here. It was kind of a little hike. Um, so we're going to use the bucket and if it starts getting a little hot and the fish get a little soupy, then we'll just go back and put them in the cooler. But, oh, oh, jig pole. Throw me the bucket and sell me one to go to God. Beautiful little eater channel cats. I got a bite. Oh, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. They all feel nice on this pole. Oh, is that a cat? That's a little catfish. I think it's a channel cat. Come here, little buddy. And these fish are just like the perfect size to eat. Oh, he swallowed it a little bit. I'm gonna try to flip him up in here. Woo, got him. There's my third nice little channel catfish. I think I'm up to four, I think I'm up to four catfish now. He kind of gobbled it. Oh, he ain't that bad. I can get it out. Yeah. Beautiful little eater channel catfish. What's not to love about that? Oh, you had one? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's not small, right? That's not small, right? I didn't even see the bite. I want Okay, let me pull these in. 
good. You sure? Yeah. I'm pulling this out of the way. I'm pulling this one. I'm pulling this one up out of the way. The other one's probably okay. Do what? He's running into stuff. Really? Yeah. Dakota is hooked up. Look at that ride. What is it? What is it? Yeah. No. Really? Is it really? Good to go. That's oh man. I don't want to go all the way down there for it. You gotta go all the way down there for it. That's a pretty big one. That is a pretty big dude. Come on. He ain't coming off. Do it. Last time we came over here, we lost it. Look at that big old drum. I'm very surprised it's our first one. Yeah. That's nicely done, amigo. Thank you. That's a pretty one. He's got a jacked up tail. He does. But he's a nice looking drum. Is our poles okay? Our poles okay? It's kind of sketchy leaving them. The action is on fire down here. Fun little fight. Not a target species, but fun. This is definitely a good spot change. Absolutely. Now we need to get another big blue cat. Yes. Uh-oh. Got him. Oh gosh, there he goes. That big one? That's a pretty good one. Oh gosh. I hope it's a catfish. I think it is. Come on, baby. It feels different. It might be a drum. It definitely feels good. What pole is this? 6'6". Six, six. The other pole is a six foot one piece. It's a 6'6". Six, six. It's a little bit beefier. It's not doing a whole lot. It almost feels like a flathead. I think it's a drum. It's a drum or a catfish. I hope it's a catfish. He bit it so he's swimming like a catfish. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Oh yeah! Is it blue? Channel, nice channel. Come on, it's steady. Just some good, solid, steady action. This one here I can't flip. I gotta go down here and land him. We got this walkway covered up with stuff. He's looking the side of the head. No, 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 no. Watch out for that metal. Go right there. Yes, there we go. Gotta be careful not to slip and fall in this mud. All right. That's a long channel catfish. He fought good, he fought, that's a, look how long he is. That's weird looking. He looks not proportional. He's got some big old long fillets on him, but look at those crawlers hanging out of the corner of his mouth. This rod right here looks like it's getting a bite. Come on, they won't leave us alone. We weren't really expecting this this good of action. It's been kind of slow, but it's like just been steady enough to keep us out here. But another good channel catfish. We'll throw him in the bucket. I think this is our fourth one. So we got a good mess of catfish now to eat. I don't even know how I got him in. Oh my gosh. Don't do this to me. Actually, just do it. Go on ahead. But we're having a blast. We're thinking about, you know, checking out another spot this afternoon, but it's honestly it's gonna depend on if this place slows down or not. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I gotta get this guy in the bucket, and we gotta we gotta tend to this tend to this situation. It's getting wild. Uh, just on some tiny little red worms, it's crazy. Who knows what would happen out here if we had some shad? But one last look at that guy. He's going home with us. That's a catfish. Got him. Oh, he's running weird. Good eyes, Dakota. I wasn't paying any attention. That pole's been out there for a while. I'm about to fall through this thing to step over a little bit. Feels like another good keeper sized catfish. Doesn't feel huge. Oh, come on up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Little chunky monkey. Here we go, if he survives the boat flip, he's going in with us. Woo! We got some good dinner now. That's a pretty fish. And look at these, look at these scuff marks on their head. That's like from fish biting them. I mean, those are teeth marks. So there's some big fish down. Dakota had the big one. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, there he is. There he is, there he is. Hold on a second. Hold on to him, buddy. You got him? So fast, running so quick. You got him? You got him? Yeah, I got him. Dude, that was way out there. It was. 
Oh, he's running. He's been running at me. The whole get him, time. get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, look at him. It's a nice blue. There we go. On a piece of that yellow bass. Yeah. I'm beginning to wonder. Are we going to catch any more blue cats? Yeah, for real. That's nice. He's got a worm coming out of his side or something. Ew. You can have that one. That's gross. Oh, I got a fish. 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 Get it, get it, get it. Get it. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Dude. No. That's another fine specimen. We almost had another big one. My orange rod went off as he was getting this fish up. He's probably like five pounds. Very blue. We haven't caught as many blues today, but they've definitely been bigger than our channel cats, which you would expect. Heck yeah. We have a mess of them now. Oh yeah. Let's go. Get her, kitties. You got a bait stealer? Fish on! Feels like a little catfish. Or is that a bluegill? A little, little tiny catfish. Is it a bullhead? I hope it is. Hey, my pole. I got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Finally got a fish on the big orange drive. Just a couple. It's not a monster. But it feels pretty decent. Looks like a blue cat. Coming on in. Come on in, baby. He actually isn't bad at all. I've been catching all those fish in that lighter rod. And I've uh, made them feel big. I made them big rod. That's a nice fish. Not a bad one. <laughs> we got him. Woo! That is awesome. And we still got the bait. That is great. That's definitely my biggest catfish of the day. You know, we swapped it to the big rod, got a big chunk of cut yellow bass on there. He's probably like a five or six pounder. Definitely gonna be a good eater. We've got a full bucket of fish. I actually think I'm gonna go make a trip to the truck real quick and throw them all in the cooler because it is getting kind of warm out here. I also need to shed some layers. I'm out here in sweatpants and a hoodie and it's it's a beautiful day. We're having so much fun out here catching these catfish. It's slow and steady, but it's just steady enough to, you know, have great results. So we're gonna get them off the hook, get this bait back out there, see if we can't hopefully wrangle up a monster. That's sick. Oh, 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 there we go. That doesn't look that small. How's it feel, buddy? Decently. Like Feels like a flat? He's a running. He's a running. Like okay. Okay. You need a gaff? Yeah. <laughs> we left the gaff at home and the net. We didn't really know we were going to get into this today. It looks like a pretty good one, dude. Is it a gar? No. What is it? Oh, nice little blue. You can boat flip. Oh. Oh. I oh. Oh, doubled up! <laughs> is that a little shrinky dink? No. No? It's running. Oh, it's running. It's running. There you go, I'm blue. Here, give me the big pole. He's blue too. I got oh, a blue and a channel, back to back. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. Oh. Here, let's see, let's get the daily double. Daily double! One more, one more, we have a flathead, we have all the species. We will. We got close to a whole limit in that bucket. Pretty close. We're gonna have to go get that cooler. Oh, oh you got one on there. Oh, no way. Yeah, I thought something was messing with that whole time. Triples! Mine's super tiny. Is this even a catfish? No. No, it's Oh, bait. it's bait, baby! We got more bait! Yes. All right, so all of a sudden we got daily triples. We got a little gut hooked drum, which is gonna turn into bait. We got a channel catfish and a blue catfish. It's all in a quick little flurry. That's that's fun. My pole is doing that. weird stuff. That's awesome. Oh baby, we're hooked up again on the orange pole. Can't tell how big he is, but he's on the drum. He's on the drum, baby. 
come on up in here. He's not on the surface yet. Heck yeah, man. Oh, he, oh, it's a nice blue. Another nice blue. Stay on there. There we go. Okay. There we go. The other rod was going off. Man, we got another. Oh, we got fish on that pole, don't we? Yeah, he's Nice. Well, we'll deal with him in a second. Look at that. Another really solid blue catfish. I mean, these are perfect eating size fish. These five, six pound fish. And this one here looks really good. We caught some that had some nasties on them, all tore up by other fish. That is awesome. So much fun out here. Guys, we had a crazy time down there at that little spillway. We didn't really know what we were getting ourselves into. You know, the day started off pretty good, catching a few bass, caught that big red ear. Um, but we just had to just come check this out, see how it was going. We tossed out some worms, we really weren't catching anything, but then I caught that first catfish, and then one led to another, and then another, and then 10, and then like 20, and now we got a whole cooler full of catfish. Guys, take a look at this. I caught some that and broke my rolling cooler. I'm just to get that. Well, we'll try to show y'all. Look at that. Look at that mess. I'm gonna grab the stringer. We got some on a stringer. Oh man. We got some nice eater channels, some nice eater blues, like really just a great meat haul. Like nothing too big and serious. Dakota had that one good one. This is probably our biggest one we have in the cooler. Look how fat he is. Look at that. Just a little blubber nugget. And these are gonna be so delicious. I think that blue catfish, you know, I like flathead a lot, but I really like blue catfish. And these are gonna have some just perfect fillets on them. And I've been craving like, you know, a home-cooked fish basket meal, you know, frying up some catfish fillets, some hush puppies, some onion rings, some french fries, and uh, I think that's exactly what we're about to go do with these fish and go turn them into. Again, but I want to show you this fish again because it needs more respect. Look at this radio that Dakota caught. That is a beast. We weighed it. It was 1.06 pounds. That's a good one. He's probably lost a little bit of weight now, but... That's respectable. This is what we came for, and uh, this is what this is what we ended up with. So it's always good to have different um, little places you can you can you can pivot to. The first spot doesn't really work out, and always have a wide assortment of lures so you can tango with whatever is out there biting. But we're gonna get back to the house. We'll catch you guys when we get there, and we're gonna cook up a delicious dinner. All right, guys, it's go time. I've got the fish cleaned up. I've got them here battered up in the Ziploc bag. I've got the deep fryer heated up here in front of me, and we're ready to dunk them in for a nice hot fish fry bath. And I couldn't be more excited. The fillets turned out really, really great. I got them cut up into small strips, so they should fry up really good. Uh, I think I'm just gonna eat mine straight. I think Jay's gonna have some fish sandwiches, so everybody's gonna be happy. So let's go on ahead. Let's throw these boys in the deep fryer. Show you guys exactly what we're working with. Look at that. Mm. And I could use a, uh, a restock on some oil, <laughs> um, but this is all we got, <clears throat> and it's gonna be okay. We'll change it out next time. Ooh, they cooking. We'll start with that, and once we're done, we'll put them on this paper towel here. I've also got some fries in the cook after this, so we're gonna have ourselves some fun in just about 15 minutes. The catfish fillets turned out amazing. Look at those guys. They're so crunchy, so golden. They smell great. We're working on some sweet potato fries in here right now. We've got a whole bunch of them in there. And can't wait to put the two together and enjoy this fantastic meal. Woo. So while I've got these sweet potato fries cooking, I'm going ahead and do a taste test on a piece of this catfish fillet while I still have a little bit of daylight out here. Grab a nice little piece that just came out of the grease. Nice little chunk. See, I like to I like to dice my fillets into small pieces like this for one reason, so they fit in the deep fryer a little bit better, but also they just cook a little more evenly and a little bit quicker. It's pretty hot, but we're going ahead do the taste test. See how it goes. The best decision I made all day in this video was to go back to the truck and find a bucket to keep some fish in because that is delicious. I love eating catfish. I haven't had any catfish in a little bit, and those were the perfect size. We said it a bunch in that video. That two to six pound size class catfish is just perfect for eating, and this is the proof in the pudding. It is so delicious. Not fishy at all. Mm. Just so dang good. Now, whenever I cleaned them, 
I did make sure to remove any excess uh, red meat that can, you know, give the fish a little more of a fishy taste. Some people like that. I prefer to make them as white as possible. And golly, so good. We got plenty of fish down here to eat. We got some extras back in the house. We decided we need to cook some more. But I'm gonna finish up cooking up these fries, go back inside and take it easy the rest of the night. Hope you all enjoy the video. Had a great time catching catfish. We'll probably go back to that spot pretty soon. Maybe try to target some other species. I get surprised we only caught catfish and a couple of drum from there, but I feel like, you know, give it a little bit of time, maybe some crappie or some white bass or some largemouth or something to move in there. But if y'all enjoyed the video, do us a huge favor, hit thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel for more, and we'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye guys.